It's Thursday the 14th of September at Chateau de Rosière, and Juliet and I are feeding the pig and letting the chickens out. Mark is already at work with the help of Michelle and Stefan, and they're creating platforms for a very important delivery today, which is going to help us to move forward with something that's been holding up all of the work in the chateau for several years now. One of the biggest obstacles we've had is engaging somebody with machinery large enough to transport the gravel and sand that we need for the ponds down to the sewage ponds which are based at the bottom of quite a steep hill. We obviously have our own digger and tractor but due to the sheer quantity of what we need and the steepness of the slope we needed larger and more stable equipment in order to do this safely. As those of you who've been following us for a while on YouTube will know, we've had a lot of problems trying to get a contractor to come and help us out with this. But finally we found an amazing guy who in fact is the person who helped us out with our vineyard recently. And he is arriving tomorrow to help us move the gravel. So today we're taking the first delivery and Mark managed to clear um, space for this delivery and it will be a delivery of one grade of gravel and some sand. Tell me what you said, darling. Is that a big truck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is probably a good opportunity for me to give you an overview of our massive project. When we first moved in, the chateau had a pretty woeful sewage system that served only a couple of bathrooms in the main chateau. And it was actually illegal, it was so out of date. Because we wanted to put back in use all of the buildings of the chateau estate, we obviously had to do a complete overhaul rather than fudge what was already there. And because we want to be self-sufficient, ultimately, a soak away system seemed like the natural choice. This is a plan of the main buildings of the Chateau Estate. And in red, you can see lines representing the sewage pipes, which will bring sewage directly from all of the different buildings, connect them to a tipping bucket, which will then flush sewage alternately down two different pipes into the two sewage ponds at the bottom, which will clean the wastewater and send it out into the woods. And what this possibly doesn't show you is the scale of the project and the steepness of the hills. So here is a handy diagram drawn by me in wonderful technical detail, which shows you the sewage leaving the main buildings, the tilt bucket, which means that we don't just get a dribble and a trickle down the pipes and they get blocked. It waits till it's filled with 100 litres of wastewater and then tips down. It shows how it goes into the first pond with its um, layers of gravel and is eaten up by the reeds and then flows into the second pod, pond where we will have other plants and <laughs> some more gravel and sand which I failed to draw there and then the runoff and it shows you a little bit better the steepness of the slope and this is why we've had the problems getting um, the required sand and gravel down there because they are enormous ponds and so where Mark is putting the gravel today is right at the top where there's a very steep run down to the slope and the tractor pell tomorrow will be taking that first lot of gravel and sand down then we'll be receiving another delivery in the afternoon of the rest of the grades of gravel that we need 
and he'll be able to take the rest down there too. Um, it is Friday morning and what is supposed to be happening today is the uh, arrival of the JCB. I'm not sure we call them, we call them tractor pals in French and I'm not sure if there's a non-trademark, <laughs> non-brand mark name for them in English. But basically the big tractors with a big bucket on them, which is supposed to be coming to move these piles of stones and sand down way, 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 way down the slope to the sewage ponds. Um, we've been booked in for ages. And the plan was these first lots of gravel were going to go down in the tractor pell this morning. And then the, the big truck was going to come with the next layer because there needs to be different layers of different sizes of gravel in the ponds it was going to come late morning deliver the rest in the same pile in the same place that these are now do 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 i'm looking out of the side of the chateau upstairs and then he would take the rest down this afternoon so obviously yesterday afternoon the guy with the tractor pell called and his tractor pell is stuck somewhere up that mountain it broke down and they can't even get a breakdown truck to it. And because he's aware that we've been waiting for months and months and months, he called a mate of his who said, well, yes, I can come and help, but only on the weekend because I'm fully booked up during the week. So he's not coming till tomorrow. So Mark suddenly is faced with the fact that somebody's turning up today with another load of gravel, but there's nowhere to put it because he cleared only enough space for those deliveries thinking they would be gone this morning so he woke up this morning and was like okay well we'll just have to dig another space for it to put it on because it needs to be accessible for the for the tractor pal he uh went to the digger and the digger battery is flat it's drained overnight and it's taking a long because of where it's stalled it's difficult to get the battery on charge on the slope and um it's just a nightmare and I should if I was on TV I would be interviewing Mark right now because he is very very stressed and it would make good TV but it would not be very kind to Mark so I'm telling you the story because I've offered to help but there's very little I can do um, and I told him let's just dump the gravel on the lawn and we'll have to deal with that tomorrow it's not that we have a precious lawn it's just accessibility and ease of scooping and stuff like that but he can't do anything else because he just got a phone call that the truck driver is on his way. Whoa, that's a lot more than yesterday. I see why Mark was stressed. Mark was explaining to, well, I heard him explain to the guy that they'll put it there and then um, the tractor pill will be able to come from that side, take those two first and then come to this one.
realise I'm doing this video as much for Clement as for you lot. What are you doing today, Mark? I'm raking cobbles. You're raking cobbles? Are you mega happy to be doing this? Yes. Um, in advance of the tractor pell, we are trying to spread out the previous lots of cobbles that we had down here. Is this what you would have been doing with the digger? Sorry? Is this what you would have been doing with the digger? Yeah. So the digger broke down, we can't fix it, so we're doing it by hand. Mark's not so happy about that. Um, so I didn't film again at the end after I finished raking because I was as red as beetroot and needed to run inside and cool off. Um, it's now the late, af late afternoon, early evening and we've come up to the mountain village of Laluve, which is only about 15 minutes away from us to play in the playground. And then tomorrow comes the tractor pill. What's here, Clement? What is it? A tractor bell. Are you excited? Sounds like you're excited. Ah, <gasps> oh, I see you right down the bottom. What's he doing down the bottom? He's putting gravel. <laughs> I love the little sigh at the end there. Of course we'll be. Whoa! It shows quite how steep it is from down here, doesn't it? Well, we have all been very admiring of the scoop that means you don't have to always push forwards. Have you seen it? Yeah. The bucket yeah. opens yeah. and you and it hooks it back in. Mm. How's it all going? So this one is, uh, I just need to even out the um, the cobbles and then he's going to put the last layer of sand. Yeah. And, um, so he's done. So he's done the second layer of yeah. the thin gravel. That they had time to rake this to rake even. Yeah. And that's a lot easier than raking cobbles. Yeah.
So it doesn't have to dry too much because I just heard it skidding on the slope because it was a bit raining yesterday and I'm a bit concerned that it might not get, um, it might create a, um, a mud patch and not be able to get back up after a while. This is child's paradise, gravel in a massive pond. No, Coco, no, 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 no. So whilst they flattened the top of that one, Mark had done this one whilst he was filling the other one. So now he can come with the smaller grade to put the next layer on here. Are they helping you, Margot? Oh, Yeah. 
is paper tired of uh, hard work. Yeah, she's been This was a big step forward, it's really what was preventing us from going any further. Uh, now we are going to start the fun part which is actually planting the reeds and uh, letting them grow. We are going to do it in the autumn so that they have time to settle with the winter rains and then connect the sewage in the, in the early spring so that uh, they, it's connected when they start growing again and need a lot of fertilization. Mm -hmm.